Do you have any idea how wide the universe is? The answer is too big to even think about. Even representing the universe to scale is difficult since you quickly run out of room. However, the vastness of the universe is riddled with mystery. NASA has recently identified a structure at the edge of the universe, which is one of these enormous secrets. This structure is significant because it influences you despite your distance. What is this enigmatic structure, and how does it impact your life on Earth? In this video, let's investigate the fascinating structure discovered by NASA towards the edge of the cosmos. The word universe is derived from the Latin word universus, which means whole. But the question is, how big is the whole universe? As we try to answer this question, it's important to remember that the universe and the universe we can see are not the same thing. Let's start with things that aren't too far away. NASA wants to go to the moon more often again, so how far away is it? This trip to the moon will take at least three days. And yet, from the view of a private space company, Elon Musk's people who want to live in space will take longer to get there because the shortest trip takes five months. They can land on Venus if they're willing to travel for 15 months, but it will take them six years to get to Jupiter. If they want to go to the planet furthest from us, Neptune, it will take them a solid 12 years. It takes a long time to travel within our solar system, although that doesn't prepare you for the size of the universe, which is thought to be 93 billion light years wide. That's not even the most amazing thing about it. Before that, let's try to figure out how big the universe really is. First, let's look at the sun, which is the center of our solar system, to figure out what's going on. Because of the sun, the Earth keeps going around in its orbit. This star is far away from us. The distance between us and the sun is one astronomical unit. An astronomical unit is equal to about 93 million miles, or about a 150 million kilometers. Now, there are 93 billion light years across the universe. One light year is equal to 63,000 astronomical units, which means that it is the same as 9 trillion kilometers, or 6 trillion miles. And the size of our universe is 93 billion light years. Our universe is that big, and that isn't even the end of it. The 93 billion light years only refers to part of the universe that we can see right now. The whole universe could be 250 times bigger than the part we can see, or at least 7 trillion light years across. How old is the universe if it's so big? How long has it been around to have grown so big? This is another fact that blows your mind, because it is thought that 13.8 billion years have passed. How do scientists figure out how long the universe has been around? Well, the oldest stars can't be older than the universe, so one way to find out is how old the first stars that formed in the universe are. The length of a star's life depends on how big it is. Stars with a lot of mass burn fuel quickly and die quickly, while stars with less mass can live for up to 20 billion years. Globular clusters are groups of about a million stars that formed around the same time and are close together. The, the masses of the stars in these clusters can be used to keep track of time in the universe. Scientists can guess when the globular clusters started to form. The stars in the oldest globular clusters are not 0.7 times less massive than the Sun, which means that they are between 11 and 18 billion years old. Then why is the universe so big? Well, the universe is so big because it is always getting bigger at a rate that is faster than the speed of light. This means that space itself is expanding. This has been happening for about 14 billion years. Over this time, the universe grew at a rate faster than the speed of light, and it's still growing today. Now, we can talk about the universe that we can vividly see. How big really is that? Scientists can look at a part of space that's 13.8 billion light years away because of the link between distance and the speed of light. Astronomers on Earth can turn their telescopes to look that far in every direction, like a ship in the middle of an empty ocean. This puts us inside an observable sphere whose radius is 13.8 billion light years. Take note of the word observable. Scientists can't see as much of the globe, still it doesn't change what's there. But even though this sphere looks like it's about 28 billion light years across, it's actually much bigger. Experts know that the universe is growing, so even though they might see a spot that was 13.8 billion light years away from Earth when the Big Bang happened, the universe has continued to grow since then. If inflation has always gone on at the same rate, that same spot would be 46 billion light years away today. As we've already said, the diameter of the universe that can be seen is thought to be around 93 billion light years. 
but knowing the size of the universe isn't enough because we don't know how it's shaped. There was once a lot of disagreement about the shape of the Earth, but now that we have photos of the Earth from space, most of these questions have been answered. To tell you, the universe doesn't have much of a simple shape. The shape of the universe has a lot to do with how big it is. And scientists have thought that the universe might be closed like a sphere, infinite and negatively curved like a saddle, or flat and endless. NASA says that scientists know the universe is flat, and there's only a 4.4% chance that they're wrong. This could change how big we think the universe is. However, NASA admits that we can only see a certain amount of the universe at once. So what's the biggest thing in the whole universe? How big is the biggest object? It's so big that it shouldn't even be there. Now, this is simply because it goes beyond what we think of as big and breaks the laws of physics. Cosmologists have never been able to figure out why the universe is so uniform or homogeneous because the heat left over from the Big Bang is also uniform everywhere we look. The same thing can also be said about the matter in the universe. If the universe's matter wasn't so smooth and evenly spread out, large clumps would have attracted smaller clumps of matter. On a very large scale, the universe is uniform, but small differences in the beginning make it different in some places. You can see the differences in large groups of stars, galaxies, and clusters. The theory of inflation, which is a very important part of the Big Bang model of the universe, explains why everything is the same. At the moment, this model is thought to be the best way to explain how the universe began. The Hercules Corona Borealis Great Wall is a supercluster that's so big and different that it doesn't fit the pattern of inflation. The supercluster is so big that it's bigger than the universe's largest structure, according to the inflationary model. In 2013, a group of astronomers looking for gamma ray bursts, or GRBs, found the Corona Borealis Great Wall. Because of this, the building is sometimes called the Great GRB Wall. Gamma rays are the most powerful type of radiation in the electromagnetic spectrum. Since they have such a high frequency, they can only come from a small number of stellar events such as supernovae, which are the explosions that happen when a star dies, collisions between neutron stars, or when a black hole spins matter very quickly. The amount of energy released by a supernova is so huge that the sun could never make the same amount in its whole life. Astronomers look at these bursts because they help us find big things in the universe. Massive stars can only form where there's an abundance of dense mass, which is what they eat, essentially. Also, planetary systems like our solar system are mostly made up of pieces of debris that were thrown out when these stars exploded in a supernova. So when we look at these structures, we can see both the universe's early days and its long history. So these scientists recorded an unusually high number of gamma ray bursts in the direction of the Hercules and Corona Borealis constellations, which are about 10 billion light years away. The width of the angle is 10 billion light years, which is how much space it takes up. Yes, the great GRB wall is this many light years wide. To give you an idea of how big that is, 10 billion light years is only 10% of the diameter of the visible universe. Even the researchers were not sure about what they'd found. Can a single structure make up 10% of everything that can be seen in the universe? At a press conference in 2014, co-author John Hakila said he didn't believe it. I would have thought this building was too big to exist, he said. But the team figured out there was a very small chance that the gamma ray shower happened by chance in that spot, far less than one in a hundred. This gave them comfort and led Hakila to believe that the structure exists. In fact, the Sloan Great Wall and Huge Large Quasar Group both seem to go against the inflationary model. Hakil is sure that the excitement about the Hercules Corona Borealis Great Wall being the biggest thing won't last long, because sooner or later someone will find something bigger, further away, or older than what you found. So what do you think? Do you think the Earth is just a grain of rice to the overall size of the universe? Tell us what you think in the comments below. Thanks so much for watching and we'll see you in the next video 